What's popping, everybody? Welcome back to JC. I hope you guys are having the most gorgeous day of your entire life. If you guys are new to this channel, what's popping? My name is JC. I usually make videos about my university life as well as with filmmaking and photography. But for today, I'm going to be talking about whether you should get an iPad or a laptop if you want to go into university. And when I say iPad, I mean with the new Magic Keyboard and with the Apple Pencil. But which one should you really get? I know a number of you are transitioning from high school to university and you are trying to think of whether you should get an iPad iPad or a laptop for university. So I got the idea for this video when I was cruising through Apple's website. On Apple's website, it says you can buy a Mac or an iPad for university or college and get AirPods. This is a really nice promotion because you can buy a laptop, which is something you actually need for university and get free or kind of free AirPods as well. So you can flex them. Also with the new Apple Pencil, Magic Keyboard with the new trackpad, the iPad looks cooler than ever. And with the inclusion of iPad OS, plus the new software that is coming later this year, Apple is really closing the gap between laptops and iPads. I don't know, should you get an iPad with a touchscreen and go paperless? Or should you go with a laptop with a bigger screen but might not necessarily have a touchscreen? Of course, we can't rule out the auction the auction. Of course, we can't rule out the option of also buying both an iPad and a laptop, but that would be pretty expensive. We also can't rule out the option of getting a Windows device, such as a desktop, a Windows laptop, or even some sort of hybrid, like maybe a Surface Book 2. But we'll get to that. Recently, I've asked a number of my other friends from other faculty to give their inputs and their recommendations on whether they would recommend an iPad or a laptop for university. And since I'm in the Faculty of Engineering, I'm going to give you my recommendations recommendations as well as justify my reasons for getting that specific device. I know the answer might seem very obvious, which is to get a hybrid touchscreen laptop, but the answer is much deeper than that. And that is what we're going to talk about today. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. First, let's talk about what you should get if you're going into the Faculty of Engineering, which is what I'm most familiar with. My recommendation is literally just get anything other than an iPad. I know an iPad can do so much, but the thing is, when you're in engineering, you have to be able to deal with a lot of code and a lot of CAD files and also submit them as homework. It's much easier to do on the laptop. And yeah, I understand that there are apps on the App Store that let you compile code, such as Pythonista, if you're using Python, Python 3 IDE. There's also Jadon for Java, JavaScript anywhere. Plus there's also Replit, which is online and you can pretty much have like any code running. But the thing is you have to be able to save your files and submit it to the teacher because that would count as homework. And trust me, it is way easier to do on a laptop compared to an iPad because of the way just the laptop operating system is. Same thing with CAD files. I know you can use apps like Fusion 360 on your iPad or even Onshape, Shaper 3D, AutoCAD, things like that. But in my opinion, it is way easier to use use CAD software on the laptop because of the way that it is optimized for the laptop usage. Yeah, you can use an iPad to run CAD software. However, it's not going to be as smooth of an experience because having that laptop operating system just makes it a lot better to use. Well, now we know that you shouldn't solely get an iPad if that's your only option then should you get a Mac or a Windows machine? Well, without getting into the whole Windows versus Apple's debate, I'm just going to say use whatever operating system or brand you like. I know that some people might say to get a Windows computer because they say that you can run more software on it. But to be honest, like Macs, you can run like 99% of the software that Windows can run. Coding softwares as well as CAD softwares work really well on both Windows and Mac. I actually listened to a lot of people's recommendation and got a Windows computer for just for university. But the thing is, I kind of levitate towards the Apple ecosystem again because I just I'm just an Apple person. I like the design, the build quality, the looks, the speakers. I love the continuity of Apple and how you can switch in between phone apps and your Mac apps really easily. The software is very clean. There's a really nice trackpad. It comes with fun apps like iMovie, GarageBand and Photo Booth. Plus there's AirDrop. That's like such a useful thing in university. You don't have to like tap the back of your phone to like other people's phone in order to send pictures. And Apple has fixed the thermal and keyboard issues of the newer MacBook which makes the MacBook so much more capable. Just don't buy for gaming, which you probably won't have time to in university anyways. All these things I take for granted like every single day and 
that just speeds up my workflow. So yeah, just go with what you prefer. I know my roommate was a Windows person and he absolutely loved his Windows laptop. So it's just personal preference, no need to judge. Now let's talk about what you should get if you're in other faculties. All the other faculties follow pretty much the same basic principles and rules. You should get a laptop or any kind of hybrid device if you're running CAD software, if you're video editing, coding you want a large display you want to listen to music on youtube without having to close the youtube app or pay for youtube premium not to mention being in a zoom call and taking notes at the same time is a trillion times easier on the laptop compared to an ipad and overall if you want like a better multitasking machine then i would say go for a laptop and you should get an ipad if you want to have a touch screen or if you want to do art, drawings, or if you have any PowerPoints, diagrams, drawings, notes that you want to be able to mark up very easily, you want all day battery life, or you want to scan documents, then you should definitely consider getting an iPad. With that being said, let's talk about what you would get if you want to go into BMOS. If you're going to BMOS, there will be a lot of graphs and diagrams that you might want to be able to mark up really easily. So definitely consider getting an iPad because you're able to mark up things really easily. And if you do get a laptop, then of course, anything you can't do with a laptop, of course you can substitute with paper. Plus you're gonna be going to a lot of math class. So if you don't like having a lot of like loose leaf papers or something that is physical, which you might be able to lose, you can consider going paperless and invest in an iPad in order to take all your notes. And you will have to use like Excel graphs, things like that. So honestly, both an iPad and a laptop would work. It just depends on if you want to have um, an iPad or if you want to have a laptop or something with a touchscreen. Also, keep in mind, if you're getting a laptop with a touchscreen that isn't able to fold all the way backwards or fold flat onto the table, in my opinion, I think this is really ergonomically inefficient because you have to levitate your arm above like the keyboard and you also have to like hold the back of your screen so it might be like really tiring especially if you're in a lecture that's like one or two hours long you have to write kind of like this i think that's not really efficient so honestly a surface book or a surface pro they're both really good options for windows because you're able to fold it flat onto the table and write on it like a normal piece of paper so to recap for bmos there will be a lot of graphs drawings diagrams that you might have to mark up so Anything with a touchscreen will be useful, regardless of if it's an iPad or if it's a hybrid computer laptop slash hybrid whatever. Now, if you're in biological sciences, both a laptop and an iPad would be both really good options because you only have to be able to like take notes. Now, if you're in arts and humanities, you have to write a lot of documents and essays. So honestly, both a laptop and an iPad would also be really good options because the iPad keyboards are getting a lot better, including with like the new trackpad and stuff. But I still personally think that writing papers on a laptop would be a little bit easier. That's just me though. And if you're doing art, it's really nice to have a touchscreen of any sort because you're able to use your pen and like kind of tilt it and like do shading and like different stuff. It's kind of like using like pencil and pencil crayons on like a canvas or like a piece of paper or something. And I believe a number of universities are including like a virtual drawing sort of aspect to their courses. So having anything with a touchscreen like an iPad or a hybrid like laptop device would be very nice to have. So yeah, that is arts and humanities. And if you're going to music, then you should definitely get a laptop because the music software that you can get with a laptop would be much easier to run and it would be more flexible with a laptop. And also if you have accessories like a microphone, a MIDI keyboard, those things can be connected to your laptop a lot more easily because there are more like IO ports. And of course, iPads have like GarageBand and stuff, but that's like nothing compared to like professional level apps, like maybe like Ableton Live or Logic Pro. And if you're going into MedSci or HealthSci, then you should consider getting an iPad, according to my friend, because there will be a lot of diagrams and drawings that you have to write over. And making notes is just so easy on an iPad. It's so like well organized and thought out. Plus an iPad, you're able to use the keyboard as well as the pencil. So definitely getting an iPad would be a pretty good option. Laptops could also work and you can just use paper to substitute for anything that you can't do with the laptop. And if you're going into computer science, then definitely don't get an iPad, get a laptop because 
your laptop is able to run compiling softwares as well as like run code like a lot more efficiently. So definitely get a laptop if you're going into computer science. And yeah, those are the faculties that I'm only going to go over like right now. But remember the rules that I've mentioned before. Get a laptop if you're trying to run CAD software or coding softwares, if you're trying to video edit, if you want like a larger display, or if you want to listen to music on YouTube without paying for YouTube premium. And overall, I think laptops will be better at multitasking. And follow the rule of getting an iPad if you want to be able to scan documents, have a touch screen, do art, drawings, have like PowerPoint diagrams and notes that you have to like mark up and draw over an all day battery life and something that is just so convenient. An iPad is something that's just so convenient. You can like literally just leave it in your bag and just forget about it for like an entire week. And after an entire week, you check it, there's like 50% battery left. And if you're trying to get a laptop, whether it's Apple's or Windows, it's all just personal preference on what you decide. If you have an iPhone, then if you get a Mac, it's just so much easier to use because you know, the continuity. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was able to help you in the purchasing decision on whether you should get a laptop, an iPad, a hybrid screen, touchscreen, laptop thingy. And if you're not already a subscriber, I don't even know what you're doing. Definitely click that subscribe button as well as click the bell beside the subscribe button in order to get notified for any new future posts and like this video if you liked it. That's pretty much all I have to say for now. I would say to leave any questions that you have in the comment section below but recently there's been like so many bots on youtube i don't even know like what is real and what's not real apparently if you comment or subscribe to like these bots back then you could get a chance of getting your account hacked which is really bad so maybe if you leave a lot of questions down below i might just make a q a video and just compile a lot of the questions that you have in total and thank you guys so much for watching that's all i have to say for now and i will see you guys in my very next video peace